trappings fit for a modern-day king. The man who's ruled Cambodia for 32 years chose his country's most famous landmark as a backdrop for this elaborate prayer ceremony. Confusing the tourists who found their expected route into Angkor Wat no longer open. At 65 years old, Hun Sen is visibly slower than he was. But his hold on power is now complete, having just outlawed the only popular opposition party. These prayers, he said, were for peace and unity. By wrapping himself in the mantle of religion, though, and the aura of Cambodia's greatest historic era, Hun Sen hopes to demonstrate that his legitimacy is secure. But this was a largely organised crowd, many of them schoolchildren. It was not a spontaneous show of support. These girls had no idea why the ceremony was being held. They'd been told to come by their teacher. The party he outlawed has been doing well enough in recent elections to pose a serious threat. Now its leaders are either in jail or in exile. They believe that his drastic move against them actually shows that the wily Cambodian strongman is worried. If he were sure of himself, he would call us back and say, let's compete fairly, freely, justly, inclusively. Do so you think it's he's lost his confidence? He's haunted by the need to hang on to power. Hun Sen can command the finest performances, the most spectacular settings, and the loyalty of an inner circle which with him has grown very wealthy. But for how long? Within minutes of his departure, it was as if he'd never been. People were buying souvenirs, and the tourists, who more than anything else have enriched this part of Cambodia, were back enjoying the wonders of this ancient temple. Jonathan Head, BBC News, Angkor Wat.